And if there's anything that we have learned from the last From the Depths episode, it is to go big or go home. Uh, we're going to go ahead and redo our drill ship here. We're going to make it much bigger as a drone-sized ship is not powerful enough to really get to it. We're going to build a ginormous capital ship class uh, of drill, uh, total steel body, tons of shields, tons of anti-missile lasers and smoke launchers, and this thing is going to be an absolute tank. And it's going to be huge. It's going to be extremely powerful. Um, yeah. So, here we go. That's what we're going to do today. Because I really want to get a drill ship up and going. And uh, I just want it to be like a total terror. Alright, and this is the very beginning that we have here. Uh, we're making the shaft here as short as possible. Just just added one extender on here. Just so we can uh, layer this up with just some steel plate. And, uh, and other defenses we're going to get going here. This is going to be our main drill assembly here. High armor penetrating value. And uh, this should pretty much drill into any ship, like literally, should, we'll see. Um, so yeah, but we don't want to get our ship bigger than the size of this. So maybe we might we might actually add a few more drill heads on here, maybe one more higher, one more lower, and then make this entire box pretty much the size of our front drill so we can actually get into ships. We'll see, we'll see. And I present to you guys the broomstick. Okay, so I went ahead and put a ton, a ton of these, uh, where is actually the uh, processor at? Let's see here. The drill head, alright, so we got 75 power inputs, 110, uh, amp torque, uh, <laughs> amp torque fires, torque amplifiers, and, uh, alright, so we're gonna add a ton more than that, but, uh, yeah, pretty much this whole thing, like I said, is gonna be all these drill sections, uh, we're gonna stuff them all up in here, we got our long, uh, engine right here, and some AI, and some fuel pump, and I think that's pretty much going to be it. It's pretty simple. Just going to streamline this thing straight back, and then we're going to start adding some bodywork and defenses to it. And I feel like a speed of 207 is pretty good, right? So, uh, alright, let's go ahead and add some more power inputs to the back. Let's see here. Alright, so this thing is becoming a block. It's going to be, oh man, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> this is thing in action. Uh, hopefully it's going to hit its targets, though. So, alright, let's build like that. Get a few more sections up in here like this, so we have enough torque to keep our uh, uh, blades spinning when we're cutting into the enemy, if we are going to get to that spot. Alright, so now we have a solid block with a few steel beams in here as framework, uh, here and there. <laughs> okay, and the front is pretty well armored. We have, uh, we have a whole bunch of blocks here, steel blocks, and uh, yeah, obviously going to have a ton of shields. So, alright. Wow. What's, what's the total speed and, and uh, torque? Yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. And now just a fine-tuning of balloons. Alright, so I decided to make the broomstick uh, airborne, since uh, it is a broomstick after all. So we're just gonna have this thing flying around with balloons, and just the tail section, strafing, sweeping. I said the cruising altitude should be about um, 10, <laughs> right? So we have to be close to the water, close to the ground. This could work. I told the AI to go after large targets and slow targets, so we'll see how this turns out, although I'm not quite sure. I mean, this is this is something I've never done before, so I don't even know if it's gonna work. Or maybe it'll... Oh my gosh, maybe it'll just work, and it'll be amazing. We'll see. And I can't believe it, but I think we have it now. Alright, so we have a flyer. I set the cruising altitude to be four, <laughs> like literally just four. And, uh, and I put all these balloons around the center of mass here, so we got that. We, ju we just have enough lift to just kind of keep us to be like a fast flying uh, slash sailing ship. <laughs> um, so, all right, let's let's go ahead and spawn in an enemy and see how this thing works. I got I also have a control panel here to uh, to auto deploy the balloons on spawn. Um, yeah, obviously we're gonna shield all this stuff up and uh, and and get countermeasures if this actually works. We have tons and tons of power to use here on this ship. I know it's not very pretty. But, um, I mean, this is, we, we, we gotta test it out, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, this is glorious. Alright, so I set the cruising altitude to 6, and pretty much this thing takes up from the sky, goes diving down, hits the water, slows down a little bit, and then levels out, just like this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, alright, so we got these drills going like crazy. I tell you what, it takes so much space to make these drills powerful. We'll, we'll even see if they can cut through this ship. If we're even headed directly towards it, yes we are. Um... Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this is actually going to be tough because he's coming straight at us and we're not really facing him. Come on now. Oh good, looks like we're turning. Looks like we're turning to face our enemy. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, not very maneuverable. Uh, I might I might make this into a ship after all. Yeah, I think, I think a naval ship is best. And here we go, finally destroying something here. Uh, got enough damage, got enough speed. 
Uh, and it looks like, wow, this thing is definitely, this drill is definitely powerful enough to pierce the, the toughest hulls. And, uh, and I love how <laughs> we got a bunch of uh, props back here, so we can actually push ourselves, like li literally launch ourselves up and into a ship with our uh, long tubular designs. So that's pretty darn amazing. I can only imagine a fleet of these things charging at our enemy. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put some countermeasures on here, shield this thing up like crazy, and maybe even extend the drill out a little bit further so we can kind of dig a little deeper into enemies. But this was pretty darn awesome. So we now got ourselves a velocity of 10 with a ton of shields, and we are set to go for the campaign. Oh my gosh, we just cut this bastion in half. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, or we are in the process of cutting this thing in half. This is pretty darn sweet. And if we want, we can go ahead and uh, extend this, uh, this this drill slashing thing here. But yeah, our shields are working good. I think that's all I'm going to add for now. Just because uh, we don't really need to worry about anything else. Oh my gosh, we actually destroyed the enemy. That was great. Okay, so I guess it's time to build these in the campaign. At least they're fast ships, so uh, we can move them around the uh, campaign map pretty easily. And just one last test, I love our design, this ship actually grew on me, and I'm a big fan of it, as uh, it actually works now, it does a very good job. Uh, we got the floating, we got the air balloons, we got the naval, uh, all, all, all the stuff down good, and <laughs> it cuts right through everything, and it comes back for more, and it's very maneuverable. This thing, I mean, like, we got so many uh, pr props on the back, it's uh, auto-repairing. And yes, yes, it does It does an excellent job, like I was saying. Alright, so I'm so thrilled with this. Finally, I'm so glad we got a ship to work. We just had to make it bigger, uh, a drill ship. And, um, yeah, this, this is actually an older design. But I do tell them eventually to stay further away from one another. But yeah, alright, so let's <laughs> build this in the campaign now. And we're back in the campaign. Can't wait, so excited. I went ahead and named one of our motherships, uh, or uh, one of our sky paradises, uh, Hellfire Paradises, actual uh, underscore mother. So we can go ahead and warp to this guy, and or this girl, whatever, and, oh my goodness, come on camera, just move. Yes, there we go. And we actually have a builder back here, which is building our new ships. Why are you sinking? Oh, that's right, I guess it needs to spawn in. Once it spawns in, then all the uh, balloons get deployed. At least that's the way it should be, right? Let's take a look at this, yeah. Activate balloons on spawn. Well, let's just do it now. There we go. So get this thing going so it doesn't crash like a submarine. But this is amazing though. So like when this actually drills into other ships, it kind of like drills through them and then clears them. It just jumps right on over them uh, with all this like thrust back here and just literally flies over the hull of ships, dives down, and then <laughs> drills into the next ship. It's awesome. Uh, really like that design. All right, but we're going to see it in action soon. Oh my gosh, don't drill us. Yeah, that's the one problem. I just told everything to turn off. It starts drilling us a little bit. Just even floating here, he's just kind of like, uh... Yeah. And you guys are gonna hate me, but we are ready for the war that is to come next episode. Charging into enemy territory with our dozers. We got four dozers, four of our drill boats, the broomsticks, and, uh, and of course four, uh, sky paradises. So this is gonna be, or, uh, hellfire paradises. And this is gonna be great. Make sure they're all on combat for next time. Yep. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be slashing and a slicing. We got shields all over this thing. Didn't really show you guys what I really did with it. But yeah, we got shields all over this thing. Um, especially on the top. Repair bots, uh, plenty and plenty of uh, repair bots. This thing is pretty much indestructible on the front. We got two shields facing the front. And we do good versus bullets, so... Alright. I'm excited for next time. Big War is coming.